Hey everyone, this is going to be my premiere skin wishlist and confirms premiere skin, confirm premiere skin, um, video. So, with that being said, I'm going to talk about all the premiere skins that I have on my list. A lot of them are not ones that I thought of myself, but they are ones that many people have said, but many, many, many people have said. So, I'm making my list based on that and some things that I just thought of myself so they're not all exactly going to be premier skins but it's like a list of skins that I think would be cool and since I agreed with most of the people that put these specific lists or specific outfits costumes on their list I'm going to talk about them because a lot of them I agree with and a lot of them I was thinking would be cool as well so, for example, like, for one, I could say Blackfire for Starfire, which is on my list. And a lot of people have said that, and now she's confirmed, so I think it's possible. And at the end of this video, I will have a slideshow showing all the specific designs for the skins that I chose myself. So that's kind of what makes it my own, is that I chose the, those specific de designs by looking through pictures and stuff and I'm sure other people have other versions of those but I just wanted to clear that it is not my personal list because I did have a lot of um, trouble figuring out one so I just threw some skins on there that I thought would be really cool for like Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy and this was before I knew about the gear system and how they were working it, so I don't think some of them would work, but I think some of them would be really unique. So, with that being said, we're going to start. So, I'm just going to go through the list and tell you all of the ones, and then at the end will be the slideshow. So, let me find my list on my phone. And there's about 20 skins that I put on my list. So the first one is Deathstorm for Firestorm. And Deathstorm is basically the Earth 3, like evil version of uh, Firestorm. So I think that would be really cool. Uh, just to have as a premiere skin. Or for the premiere skin, they could have. A Ronnie Raymond skin from the CW show. I think that would be really cool as well. That's on my list as well. So for Firestorm, I would say uh, Deathstorm and Ronnie Raymond. And moving on with that, my third one would be, and this is I put in my list if she made it as DLC, which I knew she was going to, um, Blackfire for Starfire. And I think that that is possibly confirmed now because uh, Blackfire is an assist technique in the game in multiverse mode so I definitely think that's possible that doesn't exactly confirm that skin is happening but I definitely think that means that it could happen so I think she will get a Blackfire from your skin which would be awesome also she is being voiced by Carrie Walgreen who voices Starfire in the Judas Contract and in Justice League vs. Teen Titans. And if any of you are into anime, she also voices Saber in Fate, Stay Night, and Fate Zero. Um, so I like her from that, and so I like her as Starfire after finding out she voices her in those movies. So I think it's cool. And with that being said, we're going to move on to the next skin. So, the next skin I have are two skins for Green Arrow. And I have about four for him. But these two are Arsenal and Red Arrow. Now, I found out that there is some Red Arrow, Arrow gear for Green Arrow, so I don't know if they'll have a Premier skin for that, but maybe they could have an Arsenal skin. Is that the case? Uh, but there is red arrow gear for him. And next we have, excuse me, uh, next we have CW 
super girl or super girl. And for that one, they could have Melissa Benoist, a voice her, who is the girl that plays Supergirl, in the um, show. So I think that'd be really cool. Also, other skins for Supergirl that I put on here were, um, let's see, I put Bizarro Supergirl, because there is a Bizarro version of Supergirl, and Red Lantern Supergirl Power Girl skin. I can already tell you, the Power Girl skin is confirmed already, but I will talk about the five confirmed skins that we have near the end of this video, before I, you guys watch the slide, slideshow. So, um, with that being said, those are the skins that I would hope for Supergirl, Super, CW Supergirl, Bizarro Supergirl, and Red Lantern Supergirl. So, next we have, let's see. Black Siren, her Black Canary, which is the Earth 2 version of Black Canary, I believe. They said, yeah. Um, it's the Earth 2 or 3 version. Uh, and she's basically just an evil Black Canary. And her name is Black Siren. Um, and she has a much more powerful Sonic Scream, from what I understand. So, maybe, like, for the premiere skin... If you give her a special ability where her um, sonic screen is more powerful, possibly, I don't know. I know the gear gives characters different abilities, but I don't think the premiere skins will. I just think it would be cool if they did. So, next is CW Flash for the Flash, and of course for that one, I would want Grant Gustin to voice him. Just as Stefan Amell did for the Green Arrow skin in the first game. So, for Flash, I have CW's Flash, Wally West, the Rebirth version of Wally West. Um, I'd be fine with the one from the TV show as well. Uh, either one would be cool. So, let's see what else I have for Flash. And also for Flash, I have Zoom from the TV show. The black and blue version of Zoom, not the one in the comics. Um... Because that's basically Reverse Flash. So, I also have Godspeed, which is another powerful speedster that is dangerous. Um, I think he'd be cool, but they could actually do like a palette thing with Flash to make him look like Godspeed. Um, with one of the shaders, shaders possibly, so that would be cool as well. And they probably do have colors like that, white and gold-ish color. Um, but I think that would just be cool. So, next we have CW Green Arrow skin, and again I would want that to be voiced by Stephanie Mel. and I also have, let's see, as I said you can't really count all these as premiere skins because they said for premiere skins that there would be different voice actors, and you can't have like multiple voice actors for every single skin, so. Some of these are just skins that I thought would be cool in general. So next we have Suicide Squad Harley Quinn from the movie or from the New 52 comics. Which I did not put the New 52 version in my slideshow, but I did put the movie version, but either one would be really cool. Because for the Suicide Squad in the comics, you could have the black and um, red hair that Harley has, black and blue hair, whichever. Um, that would be really cool. And also have Arkham Knight Harley Quinn, Bombshell Harley Quinn, and a Rebirth Harley Quinn. Because I like all of those, and I mean, she kind of has elements of the Rebirth, Bombshell, and um, Suicide Squad versions with her design. So I don't think they would do that, but I just think it would be cool to have them. And again, some of these were ones I thought of before. Uh, we found out about the gear system. So, with that being said, those are the ones I would like, want for Harley Quinn. Next, we have Blue Beetle. And a good premiere skin for Blue Beetle would be his enemy Black Beetle, or Ted Cord, who was a previous version of Blue Beetle. 
if you want to know more about that, you can watch my Blue Beetle character talk. I will put that in the end of this video, along with my DLC reveal um, gameplay trailer video that I did a review and thoughts of. I'll put that at the end of this video as well. And the Blue Beetle character talk, if you want to learn a little more about Ted Cord. Um, so moving on, we have skins for Poison Ivy. And the skins for Poison Ivy, I put New 52 Poison Ivy, where she's in this like skin tight black outfit with leaves around it. Um, I think that'd be really cool. And they could do some gear for her possibly with that in the future. Or the bombshell version of Poison Ivy would be really cool. I know they won't probably do the bombshell versions because they're a little too sexy, but, um, yeah. I just think they would be unique to have for the characters. And with that being said, we're going to move on to the two that I have for Catwoman and the one that I have for Red Hood. So, for Catwoman, I would say Bombshell Catwoman or Arkham Knight Catwoman. Or both. Or both. Um, excuse me, I don't know. But yeah, Bombshell Catwoman or Arkham Knight Catwoman. I love both, so I would accept both if they did want to give like regular costumes along with some unique gear for each costume. And for Arkham, not Arkham, for Red Hood I have the Arkham Knight as a skin for him, and I believe they will give him some gear based on that anyway. So, we will just have to find out. That was on a leaked list. They said Arkham Knight for Red Hood and Blackfire for Starfire. Those are both on a leaked premiere skin list. Um, which I don't know if I can find anymore, but I think that basically kind of confirms that those skins, specifically off the list, are confirmed. Just because we have those characters confirmed. So... With that being said, the five confirmed skins that we have are, let's see, the five confirmed premier skins that we have are Reverse Flash for the Flash, which we've seen in the Watchtower streams. We have Jon Stewart, who kind of, it kind of aggravates me that they're doing it as a pre-order bonus skin because in the first game you could just unlock it but either way I'm pretty sure there's a way in the game you can unlock them anyways so it doesn't matter because they give you the option to either unlock it through like towers or different modes or you can buy it with the source crystals that they have so moving on we also had the Power Girl, Mr. Freeze, and Grid skins confirmed. Grid is the Earth 3 version of Cyborg, and he's also part of the Crime Syndicate. Power Girl is the other Earth version of Supergirl. And then Mr. Freeze, Freeze is the premier skin for Captain Cold. So... Those were the premiere skins that we had confirmed. I will put the slideshow at the end of this video and the two videos I talked about. And I will also be doing um, my character thoughts on the dark side green arrow and green lantern breakdown. So I'm just going to throw them all into one video. So it's going to be a longer video. But I'm just going to do them all in one video. I'm going to watch the videos from the watchtower and talk about them. Like what they showed off and stuff. So stay tuned for that. It's coming up as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know what you want for, for, for Premiere Skins. Um, like which Premiere Skins do you think would be cool. And let me know what you think of my list. If you enjoyed it. And again, there will be a slideshow in this video. And I will put the links to my two videos I talked about. Excuse me. At the end of this video. So like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this, and again, let me know your premiere skin list. Also, we only have nine more days till the game comes out, so that's cool. Um, eight days if you don't count today.
but um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment. Uh, I will always reply once I see them. So feel free to leave them. We can have a discussion about it, whichever. Um, also, before I forget, the character that won my Twitter poll was Harley Quinn. I have been speaking about this Twitter poll that I made where I asked a question. I said Injustice 2 comes out in 16 days. I had the poll up for 5 days. It's a cubicle vote. I only ended up getting a not, like 9 votes. Um, and a couple people voted for Black Canary Poison Ivy and Supergirl. But Harley Quinn won because out of all four, she had 44% of the votes. So, she is the character I will be finishing the tower with first. So I will be streaming that when I get the game. And other game modes like the multiverse and such. So, yeah. But with that being said, I'm going to go. And please leave a like and a comment. And feel free to share this video if you want. So, again, thanks for watching. Bye.